Well, our special guest tonight is Omar al Kassab. He studies business at RMIT. He fled Syria in May 2013 and arrived in Australia in May 2014. He joins us to tell us about his story. Omar, thanks so much for joining us. Sir. Thank you very much for having me. So, Omar, uh, tell us, uh, why did you leave Syria? So, when, when I was in Syria, I lived in Syria the whole, like, all my life. Um, and throughout the war in Syria, I, will, I had my life, me, my, me and my family, disrupted by the conflict. And um, I was actually um, shot in a demonstration for freedom and democracy. And after that, I was arrested because I used to do humanitarian work for um, in distributing food to refugees, in, the internal dis uh, displaced refugees in Syria. I was arrested from university with my friends, and they were actually tortured to death. And then when I was released, I had no choice but to leave the country with my family. I, and so after you left Syria, you, uh, you went to Egypt? Yeah, to Egypt, yeah. And so what, you spent 12 months in Egypt before you were able to, to come to Australia? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And what, was those, what were those 12 months? So when I left to Egypt, actually, um, I first, first of all, the reason why we left to Egypt because we could actually study there. But I didn't have the paper that I like just to, to apply for um, university there. So I had um, difficulties in getting the papers. And then uh, because of the pressure of the students um, and the case in Egypt, um, we had actually to like um, go all the time and follow up with uh, the education ministry and in Egypt to get ourselves in the schools. So I actually used to go in the morning every day from five o'clock in the morning, go there and wait on the door of the, the, the education ministry. Um, and so the, the employee, they come, uh, the employees, they come, they have their bra like breakfast and stuff. And then we just ask them that we want to get to, to university because it was so hard. And I, apl like I applied several times, but then, um, we got to university at like after a long time of uh, hard working and um, I was So you have to like study to basically come into a, is you're studying to become yeah, a I refugee? I study, sorry? Is that the way to put it? <laughs> no, I bec like, so I, I took refuge in Egypt Yes. and I wanted to go back and study. To okay. my study. So I started to go and s to apply for but I couldn't because... So you protested, you, yeah, but I, you study, I want to study. I want to study in Egypt because yeah. you know Syrian like, yeah, students in Egypt, mm -hmm. there are lots of them and we have like, we know, we, the, and there was no many seats. So we had to brush up and go and go and follow up to get yeah. to into university. We got to in, into university and I studied for like the year and then we were, we were granted our Australian refugees visa to fly up to here. We applied and my uncle has been living here for like 30 years and he sponsored us oh. to come here. Beautiful. What do you think of um, Australians in general, especially students, some people that like don't go to classes or really relax about education, oh. when you're literally sitting there at 5am going, can someone please like help me study? Uh, so Are we lazy <laughs> bastards? <laughs> that is so, what you're suggesting. So actually, <laughs> yes. actually when, we're, when we were granted our Australian visa, and my mom called me and I was going to go to the exam. So I was happy because I was granted my Australian refugee visa, but I was even happier because I didn't have to sit my exam. So I am similar, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best way to make it. Can't sit the exam, I've just got my refugee status applied. So. Really, seriously, um, it is not for granted. Yeah. I, I went to, I was arrested from university. I went to Egypt, I had to stand up again and to try hard, hard to get into university. And then I came to here. I had also to work on my English and study. I actually learned English from watching the parliament, the Australian parliament. You were oh. talking about <laughs> politics. Oh. That's gonna, <laughs> well, that's gonna then, help a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, negative gearing, what the hell is that? Anyway. I, it took me like two away. weeks to understand negative gearing. That's right. <laughs> oh, great, um, well, you can explain it to us. We have no idea. Um, <laughs> And then I applied for university here. I also, it took me one year because applying and they don't accept me. It was hard. What's, what's wrong with the papers? I don't know. And then I tried hard, hard. I applied two times and then I discovered, every time I discover another paper, I had to do it. And then mm. I got into university and I'm studying and I finished my first year. 
That's wow. awesome. Yeah. Well, we also want to ask you, uh, a lot of people in the media are portraying like the Syrian immigrants. We've heard people in the media say, well, Syrian, Im Syrian immigrants, they're going to come here, they're going to take our jobs, and they're also going to be on the dole. Uh, how are you going to do both? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they are going to take Australian jobs and they are going to sit on welfare, I'm actually against them also. <laughs> so, Great, so um, you are one of us, great. Yeah. If they're doing both, I'm against them. But, um, like, I personally know two Syrian refugees who came to here and they are living in Sydney. They opened their own businesses and they employed people. So they basically created jobs. And for me personally, um, I applied for 250 jobs. And now I am volunteering throughout the scouting and throughout two community council. I go to school, I give speech in the, in, in the schools around the area to, to make a, a stronger and better community. Fantastic. Well, Omar, thanks so much uh, for joining us Thank you. today. Thank it's you great to hear much. your story.